been for this team, giving them an extra added ball handler out on the floor, takes pressure off of Jalen Suggs. Tommy Cousy went all the way, missed the layup. Joel Ayayi, he goes all the way, and he almost never misses those. Each side, quick shot by Gale Standards by Judah Brown, no good. Here comes Jalen Suggs leading the way for Gonzaga. He loves those drop back transition passes, and Ayayi pays it off with the three. He's been able to do in the last couple of weeks of this season. I mean, Corey Kispert was running away with Conference Player of the Year. Then you watch at that. Look at that. Are you kidding me? The, the center just ran the fast break and dropped. Ayayi went right by Dukas and scored. Now, Dukas has not played. Ayayi, that was kind of a tough shot. Timmy grabbed the offensive rebound as he was falling down. After that last turnover for the Zags, I don't know if you could see Sean in the background, but Mark Few threw his hands up in the air. He, I think he's been frustrated these last couple minutes. Maybe that'll make him feel better. Five and 76. And that's the option that Zags and their fans are hoping to select this year. Ayayi throws one up and in. Joel Ayayi, super efficient tonight. Man, he's put in that contest against Michigan State. He want everybody healthy. He want everybody playing their best basketball of the season. Ayayi short that time, so a rare miss for him. Gonzaga. A change in their travel schedule. They came down yesterday instead of a Saturday. <laughs> Trying to limit the amount of time that they spend in Las Vegas. Obviously looking ahead to that NCAA tournament, understanding you have to have set. Now Suggs on harm, shoots over top, air ball. Ayayi right there and missed the putback. Huh. Interesting memory so far of this WCC tournament. I've never seen so much blood on a court. <laughs> That's more memorable than Barcelo's reverse layup last night or Colby Ross hitivity. Being aggressive, Gideon George now finding his way in the scoring, scoring column twice. First offensive rebound of the game for BYU. Ayayi again for three. I think that's one you got to give it up, and if you want to try to get it back and repost and reestablish position, that'd probably be a better way to go. Very effective for teams if you're able to get there. When you have shooters, you can space the floor, find a seam and attack. Great pass, Suggs to Ayayi, goes right to the rim. Did instead, he just shot it right through. Another made bucket for BYU. That's seven field goals in a row made. Ayayi three, good. Joel Ayayi, even though because they're getting wide open shots from the, the outside. I mean, they're, they're, they're slicing it up. They're not turning it over. They're being sure with the basketball, and they're getting a high quality look. Ayayi three came up short. Loner to three. That one was way off the mark. And Kispert grabs the board. The Zags want to run. Drop pass to Ayayi for three. That one in and out. No good. Loner snatches down the rebound. Johnson, three. Here comes Suggs with the great outlet pass. Ayayi with the catch. George got back and blocked it, but they're going to count the bucket. What? Few. I think he knows that LMU comes in as a hot team. Ayayi attacks, hangs, misses the shot, and Matias Markison, who's seven three to Carolina, be honest with you. But when you watch Gonzaga play, so much of it is about rhythm, spacing, making the right read. Joel Ayayi is the best in the country, moving without the ball. And I look, I Kate Cunningham played great, and uh, maybe they needed him to take as many shots. I love the eight assists from Austin Reeves. I just do. Uh, Joel Ayayi attacks and finishes with the left hand, and Gonzaga has its first steps through. Missed the shot. Here come the Zags on the move with Timmy leading the break. Ayayi three. Good. Entry well done. That move and another shot around the rim. No good. Kispert and the Zags running again. Ayayi out on the break. Ayayi flips it up and in. The one thing about Gonzaga, let's go in the other direction. Cut by Ayayi, just hung in the air. Use that left arm to fend off the defender infection. There are a lot of interesting things that happen. The uh, Nets streak at stake without KD and Kyrie. A title defense as well. 
Sports Center follows us on ESPN. It'll stream lots percent. Mark Few would like to see that improve. Ayayi rising, his shot blocked. And again, Jalen Williams got a hand on it. Santa Clara. Nemhard the floor to transfer. Timmy rolling. Ayayi wide open. Missed the three. And Caruso cleans the glass. Williams short on the three. And this is where Gonzaga likes to get out and run. Off a miss. Ayayi down the lane. Suggs tipped. And a foul on the Broncos. Shooting the scoring guard there. That bucket stretches the lead back to 10. Ayayi bangs home a three. But again, it's Nemhart and pick and roll situations. 19.7 rebounds a game this year. Ayayi with that small lineup getting to the rim and a foul, a rebounding foul on Anton Watson. Santa Clara wanted a double dribble. Ayayi. It's tipped and in and it's Balo. That's how he. He's, this is a, has got to be as early as he's come into a game, Dan Dicker. I believe you're right. He's appeared in 12 games before tonight, but most of them have been when the outcome has been. Of all of the COVID, of the two months in Santa Cruz, of the long pause they had in February. That one's short and a rebound to Miguel Tomley. Ayayi buries the three. Only had a nice first half, but I don't know if that's the kind of possession Herb Sendek wants. Emhart, good find. Ayayi, yes, a three. And the Bulldogs have some flow and a lead of set the shot and then collapsing in a heap. Kispert. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're. they're Nemhard kicks. Ayayi, shot fake. Oh, wow! <laughs> Slicing up the defense. The cast partner, Richard Fox, would like to be in that conversation, but sorry, Richard, I can't put you in there. Ayayi missed it. Well, look at Caruso battling. For kids who come from high schools and places that don't give them the support that other kids get. And these kids deserve chances to be at our schools. And ultimately, I think John Thompson was an incredible advocate. And it's a, probably a little controversial because Luca Garza's stranglehold on the National Player of the Year award. Ayo Jasumu, maybe he's you know, tracking it down. There's a Yai with a beautiful blow. We're going to get consideration. Um, in, in that likeness, but Drew Timmy, it, it's hard to argue with his efficiency, Dave. What if he never misses a shot from now until the rest of the year? Then will he get in the contest? Texas, that's big game, especially considering what happened today. To both those teams on ESPN, it'll stream on the app. The IE from the free throw line, no. Well, and you talk about fans. But the Zags had to play, what, five games in a row away from home. They get the flip side now, though. They get to end the year basically in the comforts of their home. Timmy offensive rebound against St. Mary's because of the way they defend, and they could be very physical as well. Logan Johnson, the lefty. The three goes in and out for him. And a back down they come, and Joel Ayayi knocks down a three. On this St. Mary's roster, he knocks down a three and gets him back within two. Well, Foto had a really good game against Gonzaga in the first one at 15.7 rebounds. You know, you mentioned it, and I know we'll talk as for St. Mary's as they try to creep back into this. Yeah, Mark Few telling his team, push the pace, get the ball up court quickly. Ayayi uh, with his second three of the game. Randy Bennett putting Foto into the starting lineup a few games ago, wanting to get a little bit older, a little bit bigger. Boy, Ayayi's feeling it from beyond the arc. And now we got a foul. Logan Johnson with a nice drive, but misses the five-footer. And back come the Zags in transition. Ayayi really looking for his outside shot tonight. And that is his third influence out on the floor. Yeah. Plays like a, I mean, he's a junior, but he plays like a guy in his late 20s. He's got kind of an old feel to him and another beautiful feed right on cue as he finds a cutting a yacht. 48% from the field last year and under 44% as a team this year. 
Ayayi with another one, his fourth three of the game. Now, but it's going to pay off in the future for St. Mary's. Ayayi, the lone starter in the game for the Zags, misses the runner, and down with the rebound is Bowen. Seem uneasy. They don't seem like they're comfortable. Well, one of the younger coaches in college basketball, guy who's got a very bright future, and USF has seen their program rise, just smothered by Suggs, who's such a good defensive player, particularly for a young player. Ayayi down low, nifty little spin move, scored right in the face of Bouye. He Nice look over to Aaron Cook. Good role player for this Zags team. Nice pass right back to Ayayi. Making his way close to the basket. Missed that shot from short range, but it goes out of bounds. Off and watch this. I'm expecting well, the great George. things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got to play the chickens at halftime. Oh, you do? What do you yeah. feed them? Corn? Um, they got... Possible that the chickens are nibbling on Sean's internet cords, so we may be having a few little audio problems. Timmy crashes the offensive. Man, I'm like Cal Ripken. The streak will never end. No, it's going on forever. <laughs> Ayayi, good. He thinks he can become a the face of the Dons moving forward if he stays committed to the process. That one flipped up and in by Ayayi. And it's just a beautiful did it all those years ago. That three off the mark. Here comes Gonzaga. Great lead pass. Ayayi lays it in. What Joel Ayayi does as well as anybody. Five of them, by the way, ranked in the top ten in both categories. Eight of them ranked in the top 15 in both categories. So it's a great barometer to understand who really is elite. Important. Not missing practice time is as important as far as keeping yourself in the rhythm, keeping yourself game ready. I think all we saw it today in Florida State. Florida State was disconnected at BYU. is using a different lineup here of late. They turn it over, and now the Zags out in transition. Drew Timmy, the big man, running the floor, dishes it to Ayayi, who had his shot swatted away. Ayayi will attack, and instead of challenging Harms, finds Kispert again, this time a little bit short. Long rebound. Gonzaga will get a third chance at it, and they score. You have to clean up your authorship and assertive role. I agree with you. Had a good look there. Missed it. Ayayi three. Off the mark. Who doesn't play a lot. Mark Few is very excited about his future. BYU had a chance to build on a little run and turned it over. Ayayi in the open court. Missed it. BYU the ball, but the Cougars couldn't capitalize, so they're still down 13. Cook dishes to Balo, the big man who missed the layup. So some great looks near the rim for the Zags, and not necessarily. Oh, I'm in San Francisco. Our producer's there on site. Just your normal setup. <laughs> Scramble drill, a Yai 3 comes up short. But Timmy with the offensive rebound, they have to go down. BYU's had some yeah. good looks. There's no doubt about that, Dave. They're going to have to make a couple of perimeter shots. He can continue to attack inside. That's been good for them. This game out, too. Eight rebounds with eight points. 3-1 Pacific on top. Ayayi, left side of the lane, pull-up jumper, no good. Timmy with the rebound, and the ball rolls at eight. He's a step-out guy, 42% on the season, so spreads the floor a little bit for Pacific. Nice backdoor cut. Ayayi has oh. it blocked away by Bell. Uh, it was a good look. His feet were on the line, but it gives Pacific a four-point lead. Ayayi way up top. And that one a little too strong. And Bell with another. Suggs up top to Watson. Gives up his dribble in the middle. Yep, there was that first look for the dump down. And Ayayi will go to the basket. Sealed beautifully by Timmy. Good call on your part, Tom. Keeps that stretch of 21-point uh, average the last seven games. Make it eight now. Again in transition, Ayayi. And it's 70 to 54 and a blink last play. Shot clock under 10. Ayayi, shot clock at four, step back three is no good. Here. 
and yet he's already had a game this year where he had over 20 points. That was up against Portland. Great pass. Ayayi lays it in. Ayayi earns it. Altman hung in the air, missed the shot. Now here come the Zags. Ayayi pull up three. Short. That was actually a good job. The ball picked right from him. Ayayi in the corner. Timmy gives it right back to Ayayi. Oh. What an assist from the big man. So, you know you got to... That's a good <laughs> hotel. <laughs> Mark, you were saying there's a possibility that his team, at some point, getting laid in the seat. You know, so many of these coaches are having to worry about what could end up being a home for his team for a certain uh, amount of time as they try to just protect everybody and get ready for what they hope will be a very deep run. Well, the beds will be comfortable. I know that. Um, food, very good. The peanut brittle, definitely, definitely a must grab. <laughs> Here's Kispert, averaging 21 a game. Around to a steps back. He'll take the three. It's blocked by Parrish. Taken down by Josh Parrish. Whistle and a foul. Deep. Right? I mean, he wasn't 10 feet from the bucket. He was literally under it. He tries to put you in the basket. Ayayi with the drive, the finish. Joel with his first bucket. Humphrey inside, shot was blocked. And Kispert, the trailing Ayayi from deep, that short front of the rim. Sullivan, the long rebound this time. Chase poked away. Ayayi with a chance, picks it up. Now Gonzaga with a four on one. Now back to Joel, lay in from Timmy. Nice basketball. Ayayi gives it up. Tim but Gonzaga gets a great effort from the backcourt on the glass. We saw it right there. Jalen Suggs, football player, tough, stays in there. Ayayi misses the three. High low with Timmy had a great seal on the high low look. Joel, wide open. Defense never came. Timmy pokes it into the corner. Out of bounds, it'll be Pacific Basket. Nembhard. Bounce pass, Ayayi, it falls off the rim. That had been great. Even though he missed it, that impre cut was impressive. Jalen has it poked. And now Ayayi with it. Again, left wide open. That's I, know just... it, I know it doesn't say that in the scouting report. Jalen. And see there now, teams are going to start going under Jalen Suggs consistently on the pick and roll as Ayayi knocks down that three, but... And then the behind the back dime from Drew Timmy. To me, that's the highlight of this game. One of the best we've oh, seen this year. Geez, another great and now with the, the left, ball. a left-handed pass. Well, the cut. And they've got such a Kispert awareness. His name must have been said 1,500 times in their shoot-around. Yeah, he had his shot rejected. It went off of Watson and out of bounds. So St. Mary's has the ball. Showing some full-court pressure, and it creates a turnover. Watson rips it away. Ayayi will float and miss the shot from short range. I love the idea. The lineup that the Zags have used a lot, this combination. Mark Few kind of searching. Ayayi found an opening. How good has Joel Ayayi been? First time missed one from close range. Nemhard fired it almost into the Gales bench. Here's Ayayi. This shot might have hit the rim. And Gazaka's trying to play their pace. Logan Johnson starting to feel a little more confident. That was good defense, though, around the rim. Great pass. Ayayi, the catch and the lay-in. First time we've seen a transition bucket that was a really good Michigan team, no matter what happened today. I, I think Jermon Howard has just done a tremendous job, and they have one of the best recruiting classes in the country coming in next year. And the concern I have right now in this game is... That one was off the mark. Rebound, controlled by Nemhard. Ayayi, plenty of time. Ayayi steps through and finishes with the finger roll. So smooth in transition. Randy Beck. To his height, I would say. And may maybe we're uh, we're a little bit spoiled with Cade Cunningham, who's got a 7-2 wingspan, and he can play the point guard position. Uh, but no, Suggs is a total stud and, and the real deal. Just be what we love about Jalen Suggs. And they're going to learn more about him as we get deeper into the draft process. But no, you're completely right. I mean, he's going to be a coach's dream just because of his feel for the game. And we've seen it before. I mean, quarter. And understand everybody responds differently. You can't have just one leadership style. You have to know.
follow your teammates. And I think that's something that, you know, we talk about you know, being Joe Harris. That's a role player at the next level, which right. is what Corey will be. That's not a first rounder. If he goes back to school, there he is cutting. He's incredible moving off the ball. I think that's where he's improved during his time at Gonzaga. He's had to fit in alongside other really, really good guards. And that wasn't always the case when I... I, I think the biggest area he needs to continue to grow is, is at the defensive end. Yep. He's got to be a stopper at the next level. He's good at that, though. Yeah, yeah, no question. His cutting is off-ball movement, but you're right, Sean. Ayayi on the attack. Ayayi, another nice move, but he missed the shot, and then it goes out of bounds off of him. That's a great way to play. Joel.
Reeve okay. not able to hit. Outlet up ahead. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Counting. That's how you have it. That's how you average nearly. San Francisco, Suggs. Can I say Bouye a few times tonight? Yeah, you can. Bouye! <laughs> and you can mean it however you want. Oh, yeah. It's saying his name or a little Stu Scott tribute. Ayayi's uh, been quiet off the mark there. Well, he'll get those. Loose ball, rebound. Oh, good hustle. Beat. Zags with the ball up five, closing in on the four minute mark. And that'll go. Yeah, as well as the Dons have played, the Zags can be coming down, John, in transition. They'll set a flare screen or a down screen. And Mark View said, we don't practice that. They just know how to do it. There you see the Ayayi game. steps in to steal yeah. the bucket. This is Monterey oh, nice. County. How about that? Ron San Rivera Diego State. Well. Great pass. Ayayi oh, puts it pass. in. Yep. This is what they can do in the country. Damari Milstead, transfer from Grand Canyon, who I coached at the Steph Curry camp, just scored on the other end. And he's got, what did Mark Few say about the competitiveness? Yeah, the competitive spirit was what he talked about. Yeah. And he mentioned the football background. That's been well documented. What an elite guy. Ayayi. Uh, Joel down the lane, the layup goes. Uh, we started last night uh, looking to attempt Watch over the top. Six point Zag lead. Ayayi, Gonzaga's first attempt from downtown goes. Well, so much initial action. Loose Cook runs it down, outlet near side. Ayayi. Joel again from downtown. That is just. Beautiful, unselfish basketball control, and he really keeps the defense on their heels. Ball low. Ayayi uh, underneath. Wow. The pass. I knew you were coming the with that pass. one. pass. Gilbert is off. Ayayi, transition three. I think you ought to get four or five for that. Oh, my gosh. The loose ball. Joel. Spins, baseline, glass, so patient, so pure, so good. Ayayi with 14. Tom Harris does. Nemhard left wide open. Ayayi offensive rebound, but Mac is good. Joel with 16. Sicilia has put himself in position to lead a team that is unbeaten and ranked number one in the country. Ayayi quarter three, another one for Joel. Yeah, but that's, that's, that's the pass. Yep. He's got Nemhard. Andrew will try to take it, missed it. Ayayi crashes the boards. Up and good. Ayayi with 21. Geister, Dan Dickow, Richard Fox, Andrew Nemhard with the basketball. Here's Ayayi. First jump shot good, Joel from deep. Like we had talked about that in our pregame. Ball gave it up, and Anton Watson took it away. Gonzaga with another opportunity. Ayayi fakes the three. The drive. Scoop off the glass is good. 5-0 start all by Ayayi. Mobility attack in the rim. You saw it right there. Skip to Ayayi. Joel. Joel's second look from deep yeah. is good. Credit Nemar. I mean, you're talking about... Oh, I thought he was going to pull the trigger. He should have. Bit of a heat check. Yeah. Gonna have to talk to him. Right? Now he'll shoot it. It's off the front. Kispert. Crashed the board. Missed the shot. Drew made the cut. Strother there to catch that pass. Ayayi left wide open. Deep three. He bangs it in. He's got three of them. Defender goes under a pick. And defensively, Jackson Larson had a chance for a highlight but missed it. Joel at the other end drops it through. Joel with 14. Mark. Joel open on top. Three ball. Bang. So beautiful. I love that guy's stroke then. Elegant. What more can I yes. say? Beautiful footwork. Good hands. Ayayi. Fake the pass. 
Oh, missed the lay-in. Still, you like to see you getting out in transition. Only nine fast break points in the first half. Yeah, the second. he can make that too. Nice. Well, they move the ball, don't they? Cooks Ayayi for three. It's no good. Rebound by Huff. He's had a few good defensive. I get it into Paolo, who's in for the first time. He's pretty good around that rim in that low post area. Ayayi gets his man off his feet. His three is no good. Suggs. Nice Ayayi. Marcel with a nice job on Suggs. Dribble drive. Ayayi for three. It's good. Ooh. Is that a healthy Once again, Timmy really does a great job getting an angle for a pass. Watson gives up his dribble. Iaye for three. It's off the front of the rim. Ball tipped around. And Clark. Box to box. High post. Timmy just keeps his guy busy. Enables this happen to happen. Goodness. You mentioned that Iaye had really... I think these Virginia kids will respond once they can understand. I would agree with that. The demands on that defensive end you know, sets up everything for them. A little shove at the rim. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look, I mean, even in the year with as many fits and starts as this one has had, as the guy he misses the three on the, in the, on the wing. Greg's going to get a look. I mean, he's just too talented. He's got great size at 6'10". <laughs> Suggs pulls down the easy rebound off the miss by Wieskamp. Suggs lost control, but Ayayi is there to touch it off the glass. Uh, before the Baller game was postponed, he said, if we didn't have Nemhard, we would not have beaten West Virginia. Mm -hmm. They go inside. Ayayi trying to kiss it off the glass in the rim. No good. He's one away from his season high. He likes national TV. He sure does. The slip pass inside to Ayayi, and he's able to lay it in. Cook, he made one in the first half. Ayayi with the offensive rebound, and he tries to sweep in the putback no good. Preparation to play, and the style that Iowa plays feeds into that, Tom, because both of these teams are really high-level pickup basketball teams. That's how they play. So if you to the bucket, well, he's a creator. You can get into that lane. Powerful build and very aggressive-minded. Ayayi for three, short. Timmy with the rebound. Timmy goes right back. Break, and he made the wrong choice. That ball pinned up against the the glass. It was Suggs who blocked that shot on the other end. Sweeping pass inside to Ayayi. It's possible if he's not going to get into a shot. Ayayi one-handed pass to the opposite side for Cook. Slips it inside. Ayayi lays it in. There's an example of what Mark Few told us about. He's leading the way. Three-pointer up top is no good. Rebound is run out by Cook. They sweep it underneath for Ayayi, and Ayayi off the glass. No good. Nunji with the rebound. I think he may have gotten a piece of that just. And neither team has distinguished itself from the strike today. Garza with that rebound is a double-double. Not really going to matter, though, as Ayayi is able to slam that one home. And, the and everything but the finish. The bounce wouldn't go down for Sean McNeil. Again, a big key for West Virginia is can they make shots. Great feed, great cut, and the basket for Joel Ayayi in the shuffle a little bit but he's a very effective player and he quietly goes about his business and puts up numbers by the end of the night well he's got a, a great feel for the game and length and versatility and he's played in the early going so far this season good movement good position down low and then the ball is just take it away i think timmy is the one who picked the pocket of bridges good offense run by west virginia but it was yeah, McCabe just not under control, needed to come to a jump stop. Anytime you get past the free throw line as a point guard, you've got to use the free throw line as a, as a stop sign. And a great play here by Suggs to knock it Oh, up. please don't leave me alone by myself. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think I've ever... One left of the line for Sheetway. 
with five on the shot clock. Yeah, they came to double off of Bridges, and McBride needed to give that ball up a little bit sooner before he got trapped. Tomorrow we will. Nemhard back door Ayayi for the layup. Boy, just beautiful. Everybody's so worried about Corey Kispert on the other end of the pool, what he's doing right now. So hoping for the best, not just for this game, but long term. Great pass by Drew Timmy. He finds Ayayi, and the Zags are back on top, so they've come out. You talk to Mark Few about Drew Timmy, and one of the first things he'll tell you about him. I mean, he loves the talent and the footwork and all that, but he says he is one of the great talkers that he's drawn a ton of fouls to the point where Shibwe has fouled out of the game. And we're only guessing, but maybe the lesson that he's being taught right now is use your head. Like, if you're going to foul some your junior, Jordan McCabe. Again, Illinois and Baylor still to come in the second game tonight. It'll be a little bit longer he can do all the different ways he can beat you. Well, especially in transition. He's such a, a great end of game, end of clock shot maker. You know, that play he made at the end of the game was in a position to win. What a pass. Wow. Nemhard into Timmy. Magnificent. He, he has been out. Rebounded by Ayayi. Taking himself. That was well defended by Jones getting back. Sure was. Such a solid, sound basketball player. Nice extra pass. Kispert to Ayayi for three. Uh, that, that's what makes them, I think. They're very unselfish. Wrecking. Oh, look at the help by Timmy. Yep. Just that little late help man, yeah. made it a little tough. Look at this run. Oh, what a pass. Ayayi had it blown by Flanagan. What a reaction. Big time. Timmy snatches that rebound. Nemhard leaving it for Ayayi. And out. Who thought he had it? Look who's right there. One end to the other. Best scoring teams in the country a year ago has looked like it so far through a game and a half. Ayayi the step back. Off target. Still a second. That won't count for... Auburn. Just, somebody, just somebody post 1979. I'll be talking about Dave the Bush and Johnny Red Germ. That's my guy. Going up. Uh, Pittsburgh there on the attack on the glass. International experience for him playing yeah. in France. Yeah, the light is over there with Bordeaux. Bordeaux. What do you think? Or a good Bordeaux perhaps. So running with the ball. Don't have to worry about cardio. He'll get it in during the game. There's Paulo. Look at this kid. Oh, I got you. Follow. Nice to work. And then he paid attention to detail. Nemhard. Oh, he's also taken away by Watson. Clean look for Ayayi. Okay. He's maneuvering. Now it's Ayayi. Five on the clock. The Watson screen. The close from Wilson. Off target on the three. Didn't hit the rim. Yep. Now that's better defense by Kansas. Ayayi getting past the big in McCormick. So that's what they're saying on the bench at Kansas. Ayayi did. Hey, man. Oh, my God. And Aruna. Going to beat that trap. Oh, Ayayi with the pick. What a great read set up by that trap on the sideline. And Mark wants him to go out of the And that go Watson. And they got numbers if they go. Nemhard to Ayayi for three. Oh, no, 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 no. Save it. <laughs> it's just in the 70s. Great pedigree for him. Tied at 57. And a nice job icing there. Suggs cross court. Ayayi with a three. That's fine. It's a good look at it. Oh, Ayayi couldn't hold on to it. Kisper comes back, recovers. Rebound to Ayayi off the glass. Oh, they are really active, aren't they? Take advantage of anything they have to come up with. McCormick is picked off by Ayayi. European real estate. Oh, the just, Frenchman taking care of it. Well, that's not Netherlands, though. That, <laughs> DeJuan Harris Jr., redshirt freshman from Columbia, Missouri. Oh, what a pass that was from Suggs to Ayayi. Yeah, he set it up. 
a great response. Like they've been you get the sense as Kansas gets going in its schedule, there may not be many teams at all that are going to hit 100 points, but if any team's going to hit it, it's this offensive Gonzaga that hits the century mark. They are well, maybe even a decade ago where they were upset a couple times in the tournament. Last five tournaments, two Sweet 16s, two Elite 8s, the dunk in transition for Watson. What a nice pass. And one national. The most efficient player for Gonzaga here in the first half. This is where having Andrew Nemhard though, does help. We've seen yes, him at time and time again make that play. And Kispert, that will help too. Corey Kispert, night to you. It's over a year ago. It was in Provo. In front of maybe the loudest crowd that I've ever heard in college basketball. Drew Timmy back on the floor and immediately gets a bucket. And you've got to be the aggressor. Scott was trying to pass out of a would-be double team. And here comes Suggs and the Zags. A lot right back oh. to the freshman Jalen Suggs. I mean, you turn the ball over, it really comes down to your efficiency and how many winning plays you can make. Andrew Nemhard was swarmed there by the defense. His shot from Kesper goes down his first three of the game. Russian uh, by LMU. Watson spins and scores against a seven-footer. That whole list that you could argue. Yeah. And you're arguing between two guys that are on the same team. <laughs> We're just having awesome years. Uh, Cook off the bench. He hits the three. Wasn't a smooth start. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Suggs, did he go between his legs for that pass? I they finally he find it. Nemhard hits the three. How many dribbles after the initial? To his waist. Brankic denied. Ayayi. This is Suggs with the left hand. And all of a sudden, the tempo is stirred. Gonzaga is wrong. A little bit out to the three-point line. Doesn't shoot a ton of them, but he shoots it nearly 40% on the season. Nemhard hits a long three. And the Heavy down low. Caruso battling with him. The IE does a lot of everything for this team. Timmy's got inside presence, and he's got a bucket. Great job to start the half for Gonzaga. Go direct. Yeah, I don't disagree be. with you, but I would say this. It goes back to my initial statement. Kispert, Suggs, and Timmy are all to be on All-American teams at the end of this year, whether that's the first. When they cut, you know, they'll, they'll have slot cuts, vertical cuts. Uh, it's really it's really magnificent to watch how they play off one another. Just that, that read right there by Timmy uh, off of the screen where he just pops tree in points per game. Field goal percentage, two point field goal percentage, effective field goal percentage. And when you pass as beautifully as that, you wind up getting down. The, there's nobody who can score faster than Gonzaga. No. Kisper lays it in with a foul. Dave, look at the look at the synergy and the movement without the ball. Jalen Suggs drives. Found a wide open Ayayi who kicks it over to Nemhard, hits the three. Good to get him's career so far at Gonzaga with only two points last time out against Pacific. Well, a much needed bucket for BYU. Timmy lines up the three, and that one's good. That was a quick release. Timmy, the big man, can bring it up. Nemhard on the attack, floats it in. That is such a beautiful possession. Yeah, right back to Drew Timmy, who hesitates, scores with the foul. Do you know how good that is? They have they have taken over this game, and they're doing it because they're sharing the basketball, Dave. They've got eight yes. assists on 11 made field goals. Cook's going to try it again, hits another three. Aaron Cook. Go and could not hold on to that lead in double overtime. Jim Herrick ended up burying his face in his hands and Jim Valvano's team escaped. Terry Gannon, our uh, colleague from NBC, hit a... Them hard. Back out of Yai. 15 to shoot. Strother in the corner for three. It's good. Been three on the way again. This one's no good. Yai for Kispert. He'll take the three. Kispert right before the end of the half. Knocks it down. 40 to 29. One of two from the line. Ten point game at 40 to 30. And Kispert transition. 
Layup is good. Corey Kispert with two more. He's got nine. Yeah, tonight. Gonzaga's guards the trio of them. Ayayi, Suggs, and Nemhart. You could even throw Kispert in the mix oh. as he nails the trail three. Those guards. <laughs> because you've got to make stops. Virginia was obviously two years ago just exactly that. Nice give. Suggs, but that pass from Ayayi was spot on. Yeah, design play there, Timmy. Crockrill. Feet to the post, Timmy the catch. The left. reverse. The hands oh, and just yeah, the patience. Boy, oh boy, we are watching the 12 minutes. And the move to put Dan Fotu in the starting lineup alongside a couple other bigger players has really paid off. Cook shoots the three, it's good. And yeah, he can do it. You know, Average with a rebound.
One guy for St. Mary's in their quarterfinal win who could put the ball in the basket was way off on that one. Ayayi, they're going to call that offensive foul. Tommy Cousy takes the charge. Averitt kicked it out to George. No. Well, they never got the ball inside to one of those mismatches. Ayayi, though, gave it up. That's a sloppy turnover. Averitt, three. Suggs whips it into Ayayi, who got knocked off balance and maybe lost sort of the geography of where he was on the court. Well, they almost got another offensive rebound there. That tip dunk wouldn't go. Kispert in transition. Nice pass to Nemhard, who flicks it over to Ayayi, but he stepped out of bounds. The turn it is at the line, but I thought it should have been three free throws. And how about a steal by Carlisle, who drives. He was going to try to throw it down with the left hand, and Ayayi free throw by Timmy. Shot clock's down to two. Got to get it up. Ayayi charges. Knocked over two Broncos, and that was an easy call. You got to have a shot clock. Ayayi. Got a little bit out of control. It who can score in bunches if Gonzaga lets him get going. He had 19 last year in Spokane. Ayayi, they call him for the push-off offensive foul. Lies solely on their ability to knock down the three-point shot and have a poor shooting night and not understand how they can manufacture points or how they can score, then it is the opposite way. And I think that's something that is really starting to, to hurt the game. And I don't know if you saw the game. Did you see Kentucky Vanderbilt the other night? And no, Keon Brooks' dunk that was wiped oh, yes, out that, because of because some shit. slide underneath. I mean, those are the kind of things that... that Open he was. He could have gone straight up with it. And a great strip by Nemhard with that left hand. And a great idea by Ayayi, but he led Watson a little bit too far. We'll go to the under eight media time. That high arcing three way short from Reevney. That's Carey. So Yai turns it over. A little bit sometimes in conference play, you can have that kind of complacency. There was no chance that they're walking into Provo tonight feeling complacent because well, they know that this BYU team is capable. Like three, no good, and the rebound easily pulled down by Ayayi. Ayayi thought about a high-low, but he threw it over the head of Timmy. Way too far out in the floor. Did that play, even though he wasn't even in involved in it. Nice little seal off for him. And yeah, they've switched up defensively now. Yeah, they've got Bailey. Bailey. That's not a good entry pass by Ayayi. Game's gotten a little ugly the last couple minutes. They call that a turnover. Must fake the three. And shoots the two. No. Yeah, he's a good rebounder for a guard. Oh, what a great defensive play by Altman. That was going to be a transition for me up here in Northern California. Our waves, especially this time of year, a little bigger than that. Nice look down low, and they're calling offensive foul. A push-off on Ayayi, who's asking for a flop, I think. It looks like, but he has two points and just hasn't been able to stay on the court. Ayayi stepped out of bounds. Good job defensively walling up down in the post. Not will control first up by 11. This is their largest lead of the contest. They throw it underneath and out of bounds. Trying to go to Kispert. And so it is back to the trip. Used for so many years. Uh, high low four man to a five from the top of the key to the low block. And Timmy does a nice job of pushing his defender up the lane to give it. This is a dream start for the Gales, trying to pull off what would be a gigantic upset. They're full of energy on both ends of the floor right now. They are focused. They are on balance. They are dictating the tempo. It creates easy.
Gonzaga 100%. had a few years, maybe 15 years ago, maybe even a decade ago, where they were upset a couple. Zero dribbles after the one dribble by Jalen Suggs before he decided to drop it off between his legs. And you know how hard that is to react defensively, Dave? And BYU, two guys run into each other. They don't turn it over, though. <laughs> So now there's some real drama, and Averitt lays it in. Made them both. Final five seconds. Marcelo from the baseline. No. Cuts and the pressure releases that we're, we've seen all season long for Gonzaga. They're not there right now. Logan Johnson starting to feel a little more confident. That was good defense. Me, you've got to personalize and understand everybody responds differently. You can't have just one leadership style. You have to know your teammates. And uh, he's not going to swat shots into the 10th row. He is just so fun to play, though, with his footwork, with his variety of moves, and he snatches that. With those guards. Both teams have, yeah. Bouye into the paint. Can't act. Yes. And remember the high school he went to, Rainier Beach, which is one of the great high school basketball. The Northwestern State out of the Southland Conference hung around, hit shots like that, and kept themselves in the game. Jarius. All right, so the 8 0 run was answered by Iowa, and now a two point game. Toussaint. It's been the guy we saw in the first couple of ball games that was shooting 70% and averaging 26 and a half points per game. Oh, just the length of Watson able to deter that pass. Flanagan. Sammy snatches that rebound. Yeah, sure. You might need him at some point. Protect people with fouls or your man isn't working efficiently. There it is. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna get it back either way. Krebs who missed a game last weekend, back healthy this week. He comes up well short. With the ball, and again, the shot clock's down at five. He's got distance. He's got some moves. He may have taken an wow. extra step. But These last few minutes. Toulson passed up the three. Almost like he was taking your advice, and then he missed the layup. Over by Williams. Gonzaga. Johansson puts it on the floor, drives in on Ayayi, and draws contact. So he'll get a chance. And a correction, I guess. Woolridge is three for three from behind the arc. That finish. Woolridge so crafty at the rim. That was spectacular. High off the glass. Oh, man. Getting better and better, and they're just scratching the surface of how good they can be. Keeling on the attack. That shot was deflected, but a nice feed the post. But Petrushev got one and one in the post and took advantage of it. Philip Petrushev from Serbia. That's Woolridge did such a good job at dealing with the double team, the trap. And then Ayayi got his defender off balance. That wound up Kispert getting. Yeah, he's done a lot of it on the offensive glass and getting second chance points opportunities. No, but you're right. His energy's been the best. The Huskies don't do a better job guarding Killy and Tilly up high. Beautiful offense right there. He can't make a shot. A few moments that they weren't working on skill development and physical fitness. Great defense. Off balance, that's, tough that's shot. Great defense. Just that high post action. That's a great look from Timmy. I'm strong. They were sharing a laugh, and he he gives that off to his team that, yeah, he's confident and... Duarte, got it! That's a big aim. As Duarte swings back to Pritchard, shot clock under 10. You want this to be as low possession as you can. And make it Zaga work. Malone. Your French is at least as good as your English in Dolphin, Chris. How about the accent there, too? I mean, this strong accent, Mark. 12 on the shot. 
shot clock for Perry. Phillips with two on the clock. That's a two. Timmy the Inside, but they've taken it's just right off the post. He goes to the middle, right hand down the middle. He's fouled. And here comes Romanowskis with just a 10 second shot clock right now. He attacks it, gets in the lane, little floater for two. Is it oh, too easy? Quarter. Puts it on the floor, goes to the far side of the ring. A little hang time for two is no good. Queuing up. And the shot clock for Canada. Mishandle, but gets in the lane, hits nothing. And Kaminsky, numbers took a little bit of a dive after those two games, but if they can continue to improve on the defensive end, I don't see... And Mo, and even Wilcher, he gets 20, but it, it's not a high-volume shot. You don't look back at the game and say, wow. Starter, the transfer from Florida, makes it 3-2 Gonzaga. What a difference maker he has been for this team, giving them an extra... And miss open looks like we have these last couple nights. Well, I've been really impressed with BYU at the start of this game. Being assertive, that's a really good job on the glass, and they try to pound you on the interior. Williams around a screen, rises and hits an 18-footer. Great defensively, but great recognition on the back cut, and Gonzaga fell asleep on the weak side. Williams is feeling it. He misses the runner. Timmy. One of now two players, because Jeremiah Robinson Earl added to that list today, that, that lead their team in points. Rebounds, steals, and ball for anybody guarding Drew Timmy this year. But uh, Toss just got a horrible foul called him on him in the offensive end. They called an offensive foul. He had the ball in his hands, and the defense ran into him. That's not. That's. Not if you're going to try to beat Gonzaga, you've got to be able to at least apply pressure to them early. You're not going to make up large 15, something like that. With the figure, plenty more to go in this season. Spencer Johnson in. Barcelo pulls up, hits it with the ball yeah, and Tom watch the way they cheat defensively here they flood the middle of the floor when something's happening you see the three guys standing there pretty close see it again in Indianapolis shot clock is at five Pacific with a three-point lead with a 5-0 run they know how to play in this half court set when they need to shot clock is at seven Jenkins it seems like where he kind of just probes in transition and finishes through contact Marion Humphrey from the elbow, that jump shot won't go. You know, when it presents itself to actually get on the floor and try to apply some of that, I mean, what a gift for some young players. Great three-point shooting team, which is interesting considering how great they are on offense. Kispert is the guy who drives their three-point. I don't think that was a great shot by Jalen Suggs. Not because he missed it, but I, I, you've had so much success attacking the basket. Able to switch out on multiple positions like Anton Watson can. Now his shoulder's healthy. Good player. What a move. Wow. What, I'm, what that means is they're in position to be disruptive. Suggs for three. And a tap back rebound out to Ayayi. Kispert. Young man that grew up in the Monterey area. Travel into Dixie State, part of the Western Athletic Conference, their first year in Division One. Getting to the glass, but missing the shot. Taz Sherman with the ball right now for West Virginia, number 12. And he has been shooting the ball extremely well in the year. He's going to stay in and he's going to defend Tyrell Jones. Let's see Cook up, though. Land again. Secondary defenders with that length. Of exactly. They, they could be great defensively. Look at this kid. Oh, Harwell's there for the offensive. And the Zags go a little. It's been a while since I've said that. I think the warm feeling just embraced all of us right now. There's the first two. Spin move by Kuzi. One handed attempt to oh, oh. block. The West could have two good teams out here in the West. San Diego State. I think they might have got a break by going through the two line. And now they'll have to go to the East. Unbelievable for That's the game. Not just the women's game, the whole game. First ever to go 2K, 1K, 1K. And the Ducks are looking to quack their way to the. Leave up on top with the idea of drive if you get a chance, an opportunity. Oh, yay for three. As, as uh, successful as the ice and since Williams Goss when he averaged six a game. Yeah, but all three of the, the backcourt forgot. 
Jared Rodriguez, number 20 on the floor for USD. This is Humphrey with the first. And Driving into the lane, right hand goes. It's a shot. Under 38%. They need him to be more productive on the offensive end. Here's Humphrey. Great space, but he left. Tart was, he made free throws. Six or seven for a guy who only shoots at around 60% from the field. Free throw line on the year. Nice pass. He's calling for a ball screen. Yeah, no, he had the opportunity. I saw him. Oh, nice, oh, nice. Shabazz. That's a slip with a basketball as well as you can do it. Beating on him with dummies. And now, man, that guy, he, 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 he delivers blows more than absorbs blows. It had to happen at some point. Jordan Ford, meanwhile, blows right by the defense. Plus a foul. Well, there haven't been many rebound chances, at least on that end. Johnson, another spin move. Rebound, Gonzaga. Top five three-point shooting team in the country coming into this one. Dangerous pass, good catch, and Nixon scores. Steve, you would run down the floor too if you smelled two points, Greg. I could never run as fast as that dude runs. Here's Calcaterra. Fouled by Akuba. There's Walker again. Walker with a stutter step off the window. Teams, healthy assist to turnover ratios. Tanner Groves, number 35 on the floor for Eastern Perimeter. I think they've got more depth up front. Uh, maybe not as explosive, typically athletically, uh, as they were last year. As Mannion leaves it for Lee, who jumps it. Now, so much has been discussed in the college football playoffs about scheduling and who you want in your non-conference. Do you want to schedule up? When you schedule up, first of all, St. Mary's had the first half. They, they didn't take that opportunity to finish. Jalen Suggs doesn't care. I mean, he is so athletic, so quick, so crafty with the ball. He's only taken four shots. And 44 points of their 69 have been in the paint. And yeah, we see a lot of it with Drew Timmy with his back to the basket. Herb Sendick really likes the way that they have been playing. Bediako's pass is out of bounds. And right now the Broncos getting a bit. Outs in transition. He takes off early uh, as soon as he knows that his team has got the ball. And he, he's a complete player. He defends. He rebounds. I'm leader in scoring as well as assists at Pepperdine. But that's not even close to the history he'll make if he can get to six points afternoon this evening. On the floor. Here's Rodriguez, up top for Pyle, he'll take the three, straight away, good! Rodriguez, for Humphrey. Whistle and a foul that goes against Rodriguez. He's made tremendous strides on that end of the floor, has Kispert. I think he's always been able to be a decent on-ball defender or good on defense. I think that's one of the best things that Suggs does is he throws it ahead and he also collapses it in transition with the bounce. The second time he's done that, first time. Is there are. He says they can make him into a pro. Well, how am I going to argue with that? Right. Hey, Chris Beard got a big win last night, didn't he? Mac McClung with a game winner to, to beat the Longhorns and all. We did not know, but it looked like an Achilles. The, the way, remember the way he responded yep. to it right away? Yep. And we, we everybody was fearful, and, and we weren't the only ones thinking it, I promise. For Watson. We, he's being greedy today. He's eating today. <laughs> Yes, he is. Off the pick, triplet leans into it, and he'll go to the line. And neighbors. Testing is safe, confidential, and at no cost to you. So do what's next, NYC. Visit nyc.gov slash COVID test or call the NYC. We are here in Bakersfield House in Indianapolis where the Jimmy V Cla Classic tonight is the first of a doubleheader. A lot of people know a two-year starter at Florida. So they've got about as good an insurance policy as they could have given the injury. 
I'm like, well, who is your AAU coach? He said, Jermaine O'Neal, <laughs> who obviously had a great career here right in this very building for the Indiana Pace. Pleasure to get to meet him. Worked with his son, John Thompson III, for a couple of years. And uh, four incredible dynamos in the history of coaching. They asked me to spell it, and I spelled it wrong. <laughs> and they gave me the T. Oh, nice try. Nice try. Is perfect for it. Care of the basketball. And Outside of those two early looks from Crockrell, they really haven't had anything easy. Whoa. I think the A scouts watching. Yeah. There's yeah. a couple of them here tonight. Yeah. They're looking at Killian, want to see him stay healthy. Let's see if he's got that pop. And he's got incredible feel out on the game. Freshman out of Richardson, Texas. Washington Wizards. Wow. He's going to double, more than double, his salary in endorsement opportunities this year. Really beautiful. Come back to Jaden McDaniels, please. Come back to Isaiah Stewart. You go away from him for... Fire yeah. three! So as this game continues forward, no, right? Yeah, no, I mean, the, the game's changing, that, yeah. but even still at the college level, that's not something you see often. With their uniforms pants. and those long shorts. Well, I would have broke that whole team up because there's no way Jalen Rose and no way Chris Webber would have ever. Lawson off the down screen, turns the corner in a step, goes to the hoop for two, gets it to roll. AJ Lawson on the bench to come in at the start of this uh, second quarter. No idea where he has to actually start. Nice pass. Oh, nice finish. Same thing have to force, but they have to get something relatively quick and good. Lawson on a curl in the lane for two and blows it, but, but yeah. They had the best scoring average they'd had in the Division One era in his first season. Yeah, look. It's interesting, the last four or five games since the Crandall injury, we've seen Foster kind of be that perimeter player off the pitch. Illinois, and then that semifinal, that's possibly leading up to a nice matchup with Duke, which could become a one versus two. Marcello gave it up. Johnson down the lane. Behind the back to Caleb Lohner. And then he threw the plasma. He thinks Corey Kispert should be the guy. And that's fine. I mean, that's the... By the way, that's the only award on that whole list that you... And the thing about Timmy is he's so patient. He understands angles when he's posting up. At that time, he understood the defense. A little head, shake, head fake. Get him in the air. And the top line players out there for the Zags. We'll see how long that lasts. Guerreros need to do a whole lot, a lot better to... You know you are really, really good because he's one of the top offensive players in the league. Also had a triple-double this year, the first. Yeah, Watson just coming out to set a little ball screen and slipped it uh, right to the basket. And that, that spacing makes it so difficult to guard. All down to the Gales. And Zag is actually the second-best team in adjusted offensive efficiency. That's a points per possession stat oh. now and see if we can get number two the ball on that block again is san francisco is going to have to adjust their defense dave whether they go to a zone or something they sharp and they still have a 17 to 3 lead defensively they've tightened up how they're playing and competing at that end of the floor and then the offensively there. that we had dave uh, and he said hey listen we have told our guys if you see a yai go you have to run with him you cannot stand and watch Suggs three, no. Rebound for Pepperdine. And Ross, there's that great look ahead for the dunk. Going on across the college hoops landscape tonight, including the game before us. Tennessee really took it to Kansas. That was a nifty play. And then sometimes, but man, is he playing well in this game. The run has grown. Ohia Obioha throws one up.
first half. Five points, four assists. And the drive, the missed by Jenkins. Suggs there with a little help defensively. Runner by Crockrell put it on the deck. Uzi. Oh, great dish. Cross dunks it home. Are you kidding me, though, with the points that the Zags figured they had in the column? Foe two had nowhere to go with the ball and found Clinton. Shot clock winding down. Clinton had it rejected by Umar for the break. The IU's played a solid first half. Kuzi to toss down low, and he, he had a smaller player on him. Just So he's improved as a shooter, he's gotten tougher, and I do think he has a chance to play in the NBA I, I think the biggest area he needs to continue to grow is... 83%. St. Mary's had the first half. They, they didn't take that opportunity to finish. Jalen Suggs doesn't care. I mean, he is so athletic, so quick, so crafty with the ball. He's only taken four shots. And some of the toughest opponents that Gonzaga faced all year. Well, Dave, that's his first three-pointer in the last four games. Wow. And 44 points of their 69 have been in the paint. And, yeah, we see a lot of it with Drew Timmy with his back to the basket. It is very difficult to go undefeated. That's why we haven't had one since 1976. You go back to that Kentucky team in 2014-2015. Is it disappointing they were 38 to leave number 24 in white, wide open like that from beyond the arc? Maybe the best pure shooter in college basketball. He was a little cold last night, Gideon George. Right now, Jalen Suggs is guarding Matt Harms down low. They never got the ball to him. Zags players who have... Played so brilliantly all season long. Marcelo Suggs was on top of him. George three. History on the line tonight. Johnson three. Here's Eli Scott. He had two quick baskets. He's been double teamed a lot since then. He does pass out of the double team. And Leah Pepe. 
Quintana found Lea Pepe. That extra pass to Anderson, short on the three. Can I rip and go? Like, he is so quick in reading that and then making sure his base is strong underneath him and the release is consistent. And that comes from hours and hours and hours of all players in the last 25 years at Division I. Nobody has a better winning percentage than Corey Kispert. That's remarkable. Number one of 100,000. Suggs, I don't think Timmy was getting ready for the pass. Calcaterra pull up, in and out. Did on that one. But, I mean, they, they score in such a variety of ways. It doesn't concern me all that much because I also think when it comes time to the NCAA tournament, even though the numbers have dipped, that close one we talked about, as always, the Zags load up in the non-conference part of their schedule to try to compensate for the fact that the West Coast Conference is so many things going on that St. Mary's had to defend. A three-pointer from the counts in transition. He takes off early uh, as soon as he knows that his team has got the ball, and he's a complete player. He defends, he rebounds. He Vanderbilt the other night, and no, Keon Brooks' not. dunk that was wiped oh, yeah, out that, because of because some yeah. slide underneath. I mean, those are the kind of things that, that have no place. In. Damari Bouye. Ball handling and found a three-point shooter left side. Maybe team. Drew Timmy does with seven minutes to go in the first half. Shafaz back in the game for the Dons. They need offense from him. He launches. He is as special of any player that has ever played in the West Coast Conference. Of course, the national championship last time the West Coast Conference or WCC team won against the number one team in the country. Gonzaga trying to be the first West Coast Conference team to win a national title since Casey and Bill Russell did it all those years ago. Home. Watch two good teams, two rivals in the West Coast Conference. And BYU, give them credit. I mean, they could have folded early. Johnson three, short. About the makeup, the way they move, the way they cut. Everything they do on the floor is a little bit crisper and a little bit different. Quick catch and release, Trevin Nell. And his teammates realize it. Yeah, they've been clamping down defensively, too. Bell pounding his way in. Bailey for three to be on the president's list. And congratulations to Aaron Cook. He is having a huge first half. Altman three. Good. It's in the NCAA tournament. That was my senior year of college. I got hired right after that and coached the very next season there. The, the passion that Cook has seven. Nemhard has eight. Timmy has eight. I mean, they, they share the ball and, and the fact that you can't key on one on the floor. Here's Rodriguez. Up top for Pyle. He'll take the three straight away. Good! Pyle away. Sullivan. Pinchuk up top. Pyle was already hit twice from beyond the arc. Gives the way to Calcaterra. He'll go for three. No good. Rivon. To take a 10 point advantage just a moment ago. Harris for Pyle. Deep three coming. Pyle no good. West Deep Ball. He's made tremendous strides on that end of the floor, has Kispert. I think he's always been able to be a decent on-ball defender or good on Barcelo gave it up. Johnson down the lane. Behind the back to Caleb Lohner. And then he threw the ball, I think, off the back of the backboard. Fine, but I thought it should have been three free throws. And how about a steal by Carlisle, who drives. He was going to try to throw it down with the left hand, and Ayayi would have none of it. High low, four man to a five from the top of the key to the low block, and Timmy does a nice job of pushing his defender up the lane to give angles for that. And great recovery defense. Jump shot versus him, creating offense for himself or somebody else with the dribble drive. I don't know how you slow this team down. Take the ball away. Bailey just did it. Kispert, though. Grab the loose ball out of the air. Here's we're, we're just grateful to be doing college basketball, watching the number one team in the country. Believe it. Reeve yep. Dow feeds inside, and that one rejected, gathering it back in. Visser. One of those 10 nothing, 15 nothing runs that we've seen so frequently happen all season long. Well, it can happen so fast against the Zags. Ayayi stole it away. Right back. What passing? Kispert. Ayayi got a hand on it. He is so good on the offensive glass. Didn't come up with the rebound. Williams, Brankich. 
And the Bulldogs are going to win this one, but the Broncos have earned some respect. Broncos managed to avoid a turnover. Frankie Hughes, who can score coming off the bench, cut back door, and the pass just wasn't quite, quite on the mark. Standing member of that team, really great post player. Said Stewart, the all-time leader in blocks in Pepperdine. The Pepperdine's had a rich basketball tradition. They have. Anton Watson run out. Just protect everybody and get ready for what they hope will be a very deep run. Well, the beds will be comfortable. I know that. Um, food very good. The peanut brittle, definitely, definitely a must grab. Diego. So USD. Down the floor, Gultekin nearly lost it, has it taken away, whistle here. And we'll get a foul call. So 13. And the deflection by Calcaterra trying to go to Watson inside. This is Humphreys with it. And he's stripped by Ayayi. Some but I like the confidence uh, to, to shoot that on the skip. He's only made two threes on the season, but that's the next part of his game. Defensively, he's been tremendous. He's got to get comfortable shooting the perimeter jumper. And he goes, to me, you've got to personalize and understand everybody responds differently. You can't have just one leadership style. You have to know your teammates. And I think that's something that, you know, we Al Bowen's just not a real willing shooter. Dukas, though, followed that miss. 
with an offensive rebound. Kuzi couldn't finish. Ayayi saved him, missed it. Logan Johnson steps back into a three, no. Jalen Suggs doesn't care. I mean, he is so athletic, so quick, so crafty with the ball. He's only taken four shots. Kyle Bowen wide open. I mean, those are the shots that in years past, St. Mary's knocks down this year. They've just had a... Uh, was, you know, the player of the year this year inside the Big 12. And you look at the way that they played without him and Isaac Likely against West Virginia. That's a team you have to watch and keep your eyes on and see how they perform. They might even be able to get away with it tomorrow. But if you're turning the ball over 11, 12, 13 times in what could be a one-possession game in the Sweet 16 or Elite Eight, to be the difference of winning a national championship? Gonzaga 100%. had a few years, maybe 15 years ago, maybe even a decade ago, where they were upset a couple times in the tournament. Last five tournaments, two Sweet 16s, two on February 8th. Well, you and I were on the call for that one. Alex Barcelo, three, no. Rebound, controlled by Ayayi. I thought Jalen Suggs, I said it that night. In Jalen Suggs attack Matt Harms off the bounce. That's where your, your advantage is going to be your speed, not shooting over the length. Freshman Caleb Lohner has been a big reason why BYU's gotten better. Is George against Watson. That's a tough shot off to the side. I think that's one you got to give it up, and if you want to try. Arms one on one against Timmy. Arms switch to the right hand. Rebound to Yai. Biggest Zags lead has been two. They've hardly led in this game. Barcelo air ball. My goodness, what's happened to the BYU offense? Take advantage of it. Averitt kicked it out to George. No. Well, they never got the ball inside to one of those mismatches. Ayayi, though, gave it up. That's a sloppy turnover. It's one and one. It's not two. It's one and one. So it is at the line, but I thought it should have been three free throws. And how about a steal by Carlisle, who drives. He was going to try to throw it down with the left hand, and Ayayi would have none of it. And decided to come to Gonzaga early. And now he's in the game. He's this is a, has got to be as early as he's come into a game, Dan Dicker. I believe you're right. He's oh. and certainly a good long look at this one with number one Gonzaga at home against Santa Clara. With just a one-point lead. Jordan Williams kicks back out. Caruso. Munson and obviously Mark Few took. Carol Williams ran that motion offense and designed it. And Dan Fitzgerald liked it so much that he brought it here to Gonzaga. Well, you're right in mentioning the veterans that are in that that locker room, guys that have been part of this program and, and understand how Gonzaga operates, uh, because that starts to build the consistency within your team. And in the Big 12, Texas Tech and Oklahoma State in Stillwater, 9 Eastern. Both games are streamed live on the app. Speaking of top, when well, they're not knocking down their perimeter shot. Calcaterra, they closed out on him nicely to prevent the three. He took a tough two and missed it. A break in the lane. Calcaterra came up short. Salski missed, and finally Ayayi comes away with the ball. Actually, sort of got knocked down, but kept the dribble. Me too. Great basketball town. Skip ahead, and oh, no. 